All right, it is officially 7 a.m. What's up, guys? Hopefully everybody's good. Can everybody hear me? Give me, a, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. How's everybody feeling? Hopefully everybody's feeling pretty good from this week. Maybe a little bit sore from yesterday, possibly, potentially. All right, our workout for today. Rapper's Delight. It's going to be a fun one. We're going to be uh, using the hips. We're going to be hopping. That's the name. Uh, for time, we're going to start with a 21-15-9. So 21-15-9 reps, box jumps, and swings. So the box jump, you want to be a two-footed jump as much as you can. Use the arms a little bit for the swing. Lay it on top of the box. Open the hips all the way up at the top. And there you can step down. You can hop down, right? Whatever you like, as long as you open the hips all the way to the top, right? For the kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing, right? If you've only got a dumbbell, you can just straddle that weight. Nice flat back when you pick it up. We're going to start by engaging the hips. And as we open them, you want that bell just to kind of sail up. If you want to go for the American style swing today, you can. Um, you obviously don't have to. Only difference between an American swing and a Russian swing is the American swing would go all the way overhead. Um, so it does add a little bit more time to the movement, but it also adds a little bit more shoulders to the movement as well. Right, so if you're feeling pretty good, you want to go American, you can. Um, otherwise, let's go Russian, which would be that first variation which I just showed you. After you finish your 21-15-9, we're going to rest for two minutes. And that's going to kind of go off of your own time, right, depending on how much time it takes you to finish that first 21-15-9. And then we're going to move on. We've got 15, 12, 9 of the same movements, right? Box jumps and swings. Following that, you're going to rest one minute. And then our final round, 12, 9, 6 of box jumps and swings. Right? So I definitely suggest writing those numbers down just so you don't forget what the order is. Um, it's definitely going to be a long workout. It's a decent amount of reps just of everything. Uh, so expect it's going to take a little bit longer than it might look. Um, but there's definitely a lot of room for... Uh, for intensity, right, and try to try to keep the movements going quickly and stay unbroken as much as you can. Right. Um, questions, modifications, anything? Can you do like a jump over? Uh, yeah. So, so for the uh, for the box jumps, good subs, right? If you've got something, you can jump over. You can do a jump over. You can just do a broad jump. So, if you want to set up like a six foot or five foot increment, um, you can just do kind of broad jumps back and forth. Uh, or you could go with step ups if you can't jump. Jake, with the 40 pound dumbbell is all I have. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Double or uh, double fisted or single. <laughs> you know my answer to that. Always, no, go for double. Double. Always go for <laughs> double fisted. No, so you can just kind of leave the uh, leave the dumbbell sitting, head up, stand right over it, hang right. on to either side. Right, so, so don't basically, do it. It's basically the exact same movement. If you want, you can even hold on to the handle um, and you can just do single arm swing. Um, but I think it'll be more more like the workout if you just hold on to both ends of the dumbbell. Okay. Yeah, especially because you're going Russian. I, I just wouldn't go American with it. All right. Um, if you can't do those though, right, if there's any anybody that can't do those, you could go for a single or a double arm hang power clean. Uh, you could do a good morning, or you could do a glute bridge, uh, especially if like that lower back really bugs you a lot, or if like you get halfway through the workout and it starts to bug you a lot, switch it up, right? Do some glute bridges, do some hang power cleans, and that'll hopefully uh, make things a little bit better for your low back. All right. So we're going to start our warm up off, and we're going to go 10 high knee pulls. If you want to do these walking, right? If you got a little bit of space, you can do them walking. Uh, if you want to just do them in place, you can do them in place. But we want a quick pause at the top. So we want to grab the knee, pull the knee all the way up to the chest, kind of take that quick pause at the top, even maybe come up onto the toes for a second, and then swap sides, grab the knee, pull the knee all the way up to the chest, and so on. So you should actually feel a little bit of a stretch when you're doing this. So try to make sure you're grabbing that knee and pulling that knee up as high as you possibly can. And after we finish up 10 of those, you guys know what's next. 
we're moving on to the quad pulls. So if you can get your right foot into your left hand when you're doing these and vice versa, right? That's even better, right? Getting that crossover. Once you pull the heel to your butt, right? Let's say I've got my right foot in my left hand. I'm gonna flex my right glute and that'll give me a little bit more of a stretch down the front of the leg, right down that quad. Relax it, switch sides. Again, this will test your balance a little bit. So if you don't have to, try not to hang on to anything. So just kind of find that balance between your feet. Bring that opposite foot up. Heel all the way up to the butt or as close as you can get it. And then you're gonna flex that glute or flex your butt on that side. And that'll give you a little bit of a bigger stretch. And again, we're going 10 of those. All right. Once you guys finish up those 10, we're going to move on to 10 rock stars. So the rock star, this one you should feel a little bit more in uh, your hamstrings, the glutes, maybe even a little bit in your back. We're going to start with the feet a little on the wider side. You're going to kind of reach down. You can even reach through if you've got the flexibility for it. And then we're going to reach up and back. Get some decompression out of that lower back. And repeat. We're going to go 10 of those. And you can also move super fast. Think about that lowering position being more of a stretch. And then as we come up, we're going to squeeze the glutes, stand up tall, and then just kind of lean back a little bit. And this big reach, you should feel a little stretch out of those lower abs. Okay, we're just doing 10 of those. Once you've done 10, uh, if you've got a dumbbell, if you've got a kettlebell, whichever you plan on using today, we're going to do 10 lateral step overs in each direction. So it'll feel almost like a hurdle step. Right? And if you've got a dumbbell, you can just kind of stand that dumbbell up on end. We're going to stand right next to it. Think about that weight just kind of like cutting your feet in half. Then we're going to step up and over. So almost like that high knee pull, we're going to bring the knee up, try to keep it close to the chest as we stand up. Feel the glutes get that little bit of a stretch. Feel the hips uh, doing a little bit of work as they open up. We're going to go 10 uh, in each direction. So a total of 20. We want to get technical. Yeah, and as you move through these, you can gradually kind of try to get that knee a little bit higher each time. It's less about the object that you're stepping over. It's more about trying to get those hips open. Once you finish those 20 reps, or 10 of those in each direction, we're gonna move on to 10 squat jumps. So you wanna find your squat stance. Begin with a squat. As we come out of the squat, we wanna kind of violently open the hips, right? So get a lot of hang time, right? Open those hips as much as you can, jump. Come on back down, right? If you wanna land and then kind of reset, you can land and reset. Or you can go right back into that next one. I would caution you though, right? If, you're, uh, if your knees tend to bug you a little bit, I would kind of pause for a second and then slowly lower through the squat versus just kind of ballistically dropping into the squat. And don't forget to breathe. I'll see you, Michael. <laughs> I just smoked from yesterday. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, right? Definitely, definitely. Oh, feel 
It, it only gets better. So after you guys do 10 of those, we're going to move on to 10 kettlebell or dumbbell deadlifts. So you can just kind of stand right over it. Take a nice flat back. Squeeze your butt as you stand. Right, all the way up. Quick tap with the floor, and then you're going to stand right back up. And you can do these with a kettlebell. You can do these with a dumbbell. Whatever you have available for you. And we're immediately going to go into 10 swings. So after you've done your 10 deads, you can just stand up nice and tall. We're going to pull back on the kettlebell. Open those hips. Try to get that bell to swing. You can start a little bit lower and then kind of work your way up to a, a higher swing if you like. All you guys that are working out in your garages, I can always tell when uh, when the warm up's working because the layers start coming off. Everybody starts with like the jacket and the gloves. By the end, they got like tank tops on, We're ready. After you've done those swings, you can put your kettlebell or your dumbbell down for a second and just take a couple steps back. All right. From there, we're going to go 10 tuck jumps. So the tuck jump should feel very similar to, uh, like if you were doing a box jump over, it'll feel a little bit more similar to that. But we're jumping, tucking up into a ball, and kind of bring those knees way up to the chest. So be as kind of explosive as you can. Jump, bring those knees and feet way up. Nice. And then finally, after you've done those 10 tuck jumps, you're going to move over to your box or whatever object you plan on doing step ups on, or jumps on rather, and we're going to do 10 step ups. A big focus here is that single leg drive, and again, activating your glutes. So as you stand up, make sure you're squeezing your butt. anybody has questions, anything like that, feel free to unmute yourself and ask. That's going to be the end of the warm-up. So after we finish our 10 step-ups, you can take a second, uh, bathroom, water, whatever you got to do, and then we'll all get started together on that first 21-15-9. So again, just to kind of go through the workout, if you are uh, finishing up your warm-up and just kind of listening, we've got a 21-15-9 of box jumps and swings. So you're going to start with 21 box jumps and then 21 swings, 15 and 15 nine and nine after you finish that set of nine you're going to take a two minute rest so i'm going to have a clock going here if you want to get your own clock going too you can just do that that's totally fine um after you finish that two minute rest we're going to move on and now we're going to start with 15 reps of each so we've got 15 box jumps 15 swings 12 box jumps 12 swings nine box jumps nine swings and then we're going to take a one minute rest so that second rest is going to be a little bit shorter than the first and then we're going to go down to our final round, which is going to be 12, 9, and 6. So 12 box jumps, 12 swings, 9 box jumps, 9 swings, 6 box jumps, 6 swings. And this is going to be the end of your workout. Did not get a chance to test this one beforehand, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody will survive. Hey, I got this stool. It's like maybe two feet. It comes to like right above my knee. Should okay. I do... Um, Jump up to it or jump over it? Uh, how stable is it? Here, let me see. That's, a, that's a real question. Eh, I'd probably jump. I'd probably go over it. If you can control it and like it's not going to fall out from under you, then I would. I could. Then I'd say do a do a jump. Um, but if it feels like it's really wobbly, especially on like the come down, um, I would just do a jump over just so you don't fall. So, I mean, you're wearing a weight vest too, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're wearing a weight vest, that's a, uh, you know, big, big tree fall hard. You're going to be very, very top heavy if you do fall. <laughs> All right. Are there any other questions on the workout? 
anything before we get get moving? All right, I'll give you guys another 30 seconds or so. Um, then I'm going to get the clock started and we're going to get going. Everybody can see that. Let's see if this is going to start up if you guys can see it. Not really, right? There's like a bad glare. Yes. All right, everybody ready to go? Give me a thumbs up if you guys are good. All right. I'm going to get some music going here. I, I don't know if you can hear it or not, so if you can't hear it, you can always just mute me and put on your own music. Otherwise, we're going to get things rolling. All right, you guys are going to go in 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. We're starting with 21 swing. Sorry, 21 box jump, sorry. Hold on. Nice guys, make sure you're opening those hips all the way. Yeah, all the way up to the guys. Each got a shot, so she goes out to that. Next quick thing is you can let you guys see the performance of your right action. Come on, Nicole, let's do it. You go, Allie. There's Sarah, make sure you stand up all the way to the open those hips. Lay up. Uh, 
Mexico machine there. Good job, Allie. Thanks, Frank. Here you go, Frank. Let's do it. Yo, Chris. Come on, Chris. Let's do it, bud. Good, Michael. Turn the last two on. Let's go. 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 Let's That first 2169, you got a 15 minute rest. And you are moving on, you got 15, 12, 9. We're going to start with those box counts again. Again, we got Maria. Maria, you already breathing a little bit? She already, she already had my hand back shake. Legs are destroyed from yesterday already. <laughs> Stand up all the way, Maria. There you go. Nice, Sam. Squeeze that butt. Stand up as tall as you can, Sarah. Stop. Yeah. Good job, guys. Stay steady. Hang on to that kettlebell. Squeeze your butt at the top. Yeah, there you go, man. Nice to pull. Good job, guys. Find that steady pace. Try to stick to it. Keep breathing. There you go, Matina. Good 
What's up, Allie? What's up, Allie? There you go. Good job, KG. Thanks, guys. What's up, Michael? Toby, what's up, Maria? What's Sam? Dietrich. Come on, Dietrich. Thanks, Maria. On that last round, trying to keep that intensity nice and high. There you go, Toby. Yeah, Maria. There you go, Sam. Good, Sam. Good, Sam. Good, Sam. Good, Sam. Good, Sam. Thanks, 
Thanks, Jake. Thanks, Jake. Have a great day. You got it. You too. Yep. Thank you, Jake. Hi. Thank you. Thanks, Jake. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Hi, Jake. You're playing, tells me you're playing something good there. I can hear it. I can probably hear it. Oh, Jake. Hey, Jake. You're looking a little bit like Billy Corgan. What's up? <laughs> no, I had to, I had to shave it. I had to, I had to get rid of it. Looks good. I had to get my shine on. Hi, Sam. All right. See you, buddy. Have a great day. Sure. Have a good one, Hi, Jake. See you. Hey, Michael. Have a good one, Hey, quick question. Your coffee. I need ingredients. Are you still doing it? Toby, how's that? Okay. Say it again. That was like Fran Long. Yeah, right, like Christian Fran Long, yeah. Hey, Jake. Got it. How's it going, my G? Oh, my legs were burning. <laughs> I know those box jumps after all the ones you can suck yesterday. Yeah. I guess yesterday was tough one. I didn't have, I don't have 115. I was Hi, like, Sam. 95 is kind of, you know, what else? So I did 135. It was terrible. Oh, that was good. The second, the second one was pathetic. <laughs> yeah, right. you, got, you got for that second one, I didn't like, forget about it. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. I've been testing, uh, I've been testing a bunch of workouts that you guys have coming up in the next couple of weeks. To who? They've been fun. I, I've been I've been testing them myself. Oh, test 